What's up, baby? So, uh, I got some pretty big news. This is all happening really, really fast, and it's not expected at all. You guys probably already know by the title. I still have this. But I did sell the 240 actually earlier today. That's why I'm wearing the same clothes. And I just happened to get a deal on another vehicle. And it was literally too good to pass up. It's exactly what I want. Literally, nothing needs to be done to it. It's so perfect as it is. And I'm really, really excited. And I just like, I'm at a loss for words because it's like, I never thought this would happen to have like two of my dream cars at one time. Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube channel. This is all because of you guys. I just, I'm literally speechless. So I'll just go ahead and show you what happened. So the M4 is right here. And right behind me is the new vehicle. Are you ready? Boom. There it is. 2015. F-250, biggest, baddest mother effer on the planet right here. So it's a 2015 F-250 Platinum, 60,000 miles on it, pretty much brand new. Like super, super clean, I just washed it. It's insane. It's got a 12 inch lift on it, 24 by 16 inch fuel forge on 40s, this thing is massive. Everything's powder coated white. Look at that. All white everything. Steel braided brake lines. I mean this thing's nuts. I could almost walk under this. So it's got a full 5 inch straight pipe. 10 inch tip. H&S tuned. Do a little remote start. Oh yeah, she's bad. Let's get in this sucker. Look how tall this thing is. This is at my waist right here. I'm right here, my waist right here. All right, let's get up this sucker. Take everything out of my pockets. Grab this right here. Ah! Woo! So yeah, there's a tuner. 60,000 miles. This thing's pretty much brand new. It's also got an iPad in here, SoundCloud's on here. It's pretty sweet. Hooked up to the speakers and whatnot. <clears throat> Last night I let the party get the best of me. So I mean it's got the iPad in here. It's got I mean it's a platinum, so it's already really, really nice. It's got the H&S tuner on it. I, I honestly could not have gotten more lucky with this. Like, I'm not going to tell you the price that I got it for, but just know, like, for me to keep my M4 and get a truck that's fully built like this, it had to be, like, an amazing price. So I'm, like, I'm really, really stoked on that. Like, honestly, I can't imagine, like, a better outcome. This is what I wanted in the first place. I wanted a truck to tow around my M4 to shows and stuff, and I wanted a day list to, you know, work or wh whatever it is. And I'm, I'm just honestly, like, so happy. Um, this is really, really sick. There's uh, a few more things I'll show you on the outside. The headlights have halos, which are really cool. They go, like, a bunch of different colors or whatever. And it also has projectors in them, which don't come factory. And then we'll go take it for a ride, I guess. I mean, it's a truck. It rolls cold like crazy. And, I mean... This thing's just badass, so I gotta share this with you guys. So check these headlights out. Projectors, and then it's got the halo around it, and there's like this app that you get. I need to get in the shade. So there's an app. Turn it on. To turn on blue. And then click this button right here. Scroll through all the stuff, and then it starts doing stuff. There's like a bunch of different settings. It's pretty sweet. So I don't really know if you can tell how big this thing is on camera. You can see it compared to the Jeep right there. It's pretty big. Like the, the hood, the top of the hood is right at the uh, the roof of the Jeep. 
but um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the M4, put it right next to it so you could actually see like how big this thing is. Look, this is me walking, holding the camera at my face. Things are gigantic. Let's pull this thing out. Look at that thing, bro. Dude, look at this thing. That's what I'm seeing out my window. Like, bruh, this is what I'm seeing out of my window. The truck's window's all the way up there. There you go, now you can get a better idea how big this thing actually is. It's literally massive. Like this back tire right here, 40 inch tires right here. Literally even with my trunk. It's, and these M4s are not small cars, they're pretty big. Like, it's a boat. And then this truck just makes it look like the smallest freaking car in the world. Like, look at this. This is my roof. That's the roof of the truck now. Thing's crazy. Let me see if I can get a better angle. I still can't get in the frame. There it is, my two babies. I'm really, really excited. Look at that. My two girls. What should I name this one? Leave it in the comments what you think I should name it. I'm thinking, I don't know, Big Bertha. I haven't even named this yet. Some little Bertha and Big Bertha. All right, let's go for a little ride. This thing's so big. It's a mission getting in here too. Look, you see how high this sucker is? I can see my reflection freaking not even at the window. <sighs> Look, the ground is so far away. Turn it on. Oh yeah. Put the windows down. So like, any of you guys that don't know trucks, when they're tuned, especially the diesel ones, like in particular, they are actually really, really fast. So this thing has like different settings. It's got like sport, street race, stuff like that. And like right now it's on street. Here you can see. See right there, it says street. So it's supposed to be more tamed, I guess you could say. Let me tell you, man, this thing is so fast. It's ridiculous. It's literally so big. Look, you see my car? I don't. Oh, there it is. All right. Take it nice and easy. Even though this thing's a big truck, got to take it careful over these bumps because, like, honestly, lifting a truck is, like, the same kind of thing as, as like, dropping a car. Man, this thing's so big, it's hard to turn. Bro, I'm looking over the world right now. Oh my gosh, listen to that. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. It's literally so high up. I hope you guys can like pick up on camera like how high this actually is. Like it's insane. Also when I was driving this back home, literally could not fit in a lane. Like this thing is just the size of a lane. It's crazy. Look, I'm over the bushes. I could see over these bushes. That's insane. So I actually have some stuff to do right now. So I can't just like go out and drive on like a 30 minute drive. But uh, I just want to take it around the block so I could like let you know what it, what it sounds like, you know? It's pretty insane. I love this truck so much. Honestly, I just can't thank you guys enough because without you guys, none of this would be possible. I'm just like so overly happy. I can't even imagine like what, oh. Bro, what the are you doing, bro? You were supposed Yo, to wash the truck. Dude. Taking it for I, a ride? I was just checking to make sure it works. Bro, I mean, I don't know. I don't really care, but you should have just told me, bro. You didn't wash it. You were supposed I, to wash it. I, uh, I was going to do that right now. All right, well, then just park it and then wash it bro because for 50 bucks bro come on man i'm just kidding guys this is my friend yeah this is truck gotcha. oh they call it underscore hollinger 10 instagram you know what i'm saying hit me up i build custom headlights so flow underscore retros let me know most of you lift the trucks but you guys are all probably car people whoever's mad at me about him selling the m4 be mad at me not him because i convinced him i mean yeah so this is not mine hey, it was 
It was a joke. You gotta show him too. What up? This is my friend Brandon, man. It's been my best friend since like, I don't know. I was like eight years old. This is a homie. But yeah, this is not mine, but I am gonna get something like this in the very near future. I'm still selling the M4. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like prank you guys, but I'm sorry I pranked you guys. But his truck's really sick, and this is exactly what I want. So like, I had to do it. But he's gonna tell you more about it right now, because I don't know all the little, he like knows all his stuff, it's his truck. All right, so it's a ton 15, six, seven power stroke. It's a platinum package, so it has all the cool stuff like a sunroof, the heated seats, AC seats. I put the iPad in there, uh, part of my business. It has a 12 inch coil over lift built by Overtime Fab in Orlando. Uh, it's a four link. We powder coated all the suspension, axles, uh, leaf springs, stuff like that. 40 inch Toyo tires, 24 by 16 fuel forged with the spiked lug nuts. Well, built headlights, of course. Oh yeah, the headlights are sweet. You showed those, I guess. This is what he does. So flow retros. Yeah. I'm gonna do still a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna paint the outside of this to match the truck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the recon like light up emblems. I don't know if some of you guys have seen it. But yeah. These light up. That would be uh, sweet. I just put these in today. Instead of like the orange, I'm gonna get rid of that orange up there too. Mm -hmm. uh, this used to be orange, but now it's smoked, obviously. Um, five inch straight pipe from the turbo back. Sounds uh, really good. 10 inch tip. I'm gonna build the taillights, uh, smoke them out obviously. Same thing with the third brake. I haven't done it yet because I've only had the truck for like three months. But mm -hmm. Got the nice platy tailgate. That sucker's pretty. It's locked so you guys can't steal it. Yeah, don't steal don't it. Steal my tailgate. Yeah, dude, that's it, right? That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, train horns too. Oh, yeah, let me see. Where are they? Right, they're under the truck. Right. Under the tailgate. Got some hit fat train horns right there. Yeah, you can hit them one time. A little toot -toot. Jesus, <laughs> bro, you just made something fall out the tree. Yeah, this is, dude, this is the complete package right here. It doesn't get better than this. I can't even get the whole thing in the frame. Look at that, and it like leans, like the front's up a little bit, back's down a little bit. Thing squats. Beauty. Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually insane. This thing's gonna eat my car. Jesus. This is my real baby. I can never cheat on you, girl. Unless I sell you, then we're technically broken up and I can do whatever I want. That thing is so freaking big. We're about to go for a ride right now. I'm just parking my car up, and now that I don't have a 240, I can park it in the garage. Get in there nice and good. Turn it off. Oh. Nick doesn't want to take me for a ride. Gotta bring it, bro. But he's gonna take me right now. Put so your seatbelt on, bro. So <laughs> trying to get pulled over. Oh my god. Hey, come here. No come more here. tickets. <laughs> look, look, not at me, bro. Let me hold the camera. You see that gas mileage? Uh, let me see. Are that. you ready for yeah, it? Yeah, you know what I'm hearing. Are you ready for I'm it? I'm hearing complaining. Complaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch. Then when he gets a truck. Ah! Bro, I got an M4. Hey, it gets hey, about 10 miles per gallon. You didn't tell me that these things get terrible gas mileage. Guess what? We don't buy them for gas mileage. It's miles per gallon. That thing's fat. Did you get that black stuff coming up there? Hey, your viewer smoke? Did my viewer smoke? I don't know why. Smoke? Woo! Bro, you can't make a normal right turn. You have to make a five point Watch right turn? This. What was it? You just can't make that quick a turn? I don't know how to drive a big truck, bro. My daddy bought me this yesterday, <laughs> paid for everything, said if I mowed the lawn one time, he'd buy me a brand new truck, so. Damn, you worked hard. Bro, he made me weed whack. That's, he made dude, that's so whack. messed up. I right, hit this sucker. Quarter throttle. 
Alright, All right, bro. Alright, man. Bye, Brandon. Right, oh, damn, I'm leaving faith right here. Duh! Bye, baby. I love you. I'll miss you. Okay, so I did lie about the truck. I didn't get the truck. Although that is something that I want pretty much straight like that if I could. So that can give you guys an idea kind of of what I want. It's fast. It's loud. It rolls coal. It's freaking big as hell. It's stancy. Like, I love that stuff. So, um, I still have the M4. That wasn't a lie. I still have it. It's mine completely. Um, still thinking of selling it. That hasn't changed. The 240 is actually gone. I don't have that anymore. I sold it last video. I'm sorry. I, I had to clickbait this. It was just, it was too good not to do it. You know what I mean? So, um, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think about the truck. I know a lot of you guys don't like trucks. Apparently, a lot of people either like lowered cars or lifted trucks. Like, there's no both. I personally like both of them. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Would you rather choose that big truck or would you rather choose my M4? So subscribe if you haven't already. Awesome things coming soon. I promise that just because the 240 is gone doesn't mean anything. So on that note, I'll see y'all later. Yes. Why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. Run from MIA up to Washington.